A very good morning to my dear students. Let's start our IP class. Hope all are fine. And what about our studies? Hope all are studying very well. And in the previous class, we started lesson 3 of NCRT textbook. And in that, we studied about finding the maximum values in data frame. That is, we start descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics means like in mathematics, we can do some statistical measures in data frame also. So, in that there are functions for finding max, min, min means minimum, count, sum, mean, median, mode, etc. So, in that first we studied about how can we calculate maximum value. To calculate maximum value, there is a method max is there. So its syntax is data frame dot max. Instead of writing data frame, we are writing the data frame name. Suppose it is df, then we will write as df dot max. So by using df dot max, we can find the maximum value. For example, in this example, there is an example is there in that there are columns like ut math science etc we can get the maximum values from that column by using maths function for example if someone scored maximum mark in maths this mark is displayed so like this we can calculate the maximum marks or max syntax is df dot max is the syntax Next is calculating minimum value. As the name implies, we can find minimum value by using minimum value by using min function. Same as uh, in max function, we are using max, but in min, min function, we are using min. So its syntax is data frame name followed by dot, then min function. So if it is df, is the data frame name. Then data df dot min is the syntax. So by using df dot min, we can find the minimum value in each column. For example, let us consider our previous example. There are some rows, uh, columns in this maths. Consider the case of maths. In maths, which has the minimum value? Yes, Asravi secured the minimum value with 12 marks. In science, I think. 18, 7, 15. So, higher secured 15, which is the minimum mark. So, by using mean function, we can get the minimum marks or minimum of a column. So, in this math, 12, science 15, social studies 15, and so on. So, here is an example to find the minimum marks obtained by a particular student, Miss T, in all the unit tests for each subject. So, we, we can find the minimum marks of Miss T in all the unit tests. So, it, see, it is we have to access the row, not colon, because in colon only one subject's mark is there. Here, we have to access. One row's mark, that means Miss T is a student. Miss T is marking all subjects like math, science, social studies and so on. So, for row, normally in row operation we are using log, loc function. So, df dot log, inside bracket we are giving df dot name equal to Miss T because we are accessing only Miss T's mark, not other students. So, we gave a condition. In that condition, df dot name means data frame dot name equal to Mishti. So Mishti's mark is accessed. So marks in Mishti in all unit test is math, science, social studies, Hindi, English. In all subjects, there will be marks. Her marks is calculated. Not not only marks, but also the minimum marks is calculated. Here we used LOC because we are accessing one pros data that means we are accessing the student misty's marks so this is the method to access row to access column only data frame name followed by df dot min then we can access the columns data if you want to access rows data any students data then df dot lock is needed so this is the minimum marks obtained by misty in all subjects. 
so you can do this program you can do online also also try to read these programs in your textbooks then you will get a better idea about these programs next is sum of values you all know what is this sum of values means we are calculating sum of each subject's value so the method is df dot sum df is the data frame dot sum will give the sum of value so you print df of maths dot sum will give maths subject sum so all the marks of uh, maths is added to calculate the subject average that means what is subject average to calculate the um, average marks in each subject so for if suppose there are 30 students then 30 students secure some marks to calculate average marks of each subject we call it as subject average so if you want to find the maths average math subjects average then df of maths dot sum will not average sum will get and after that we can get average easily sum divided by total number or there are method for finding average also we can discuss later so this is the example in this ut have some 24 ut means unit test unit test normally one 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 two three and so on maths have some of 231 science 237 so each columns data is added and sum is calculated by using some method so syntax is data frame name dot sum is the syntax suppose we want to calculate some um, subjects name then data frame of that subjects dot sum will give the marks next is a question right then write the python statement to print the total marks secured by ramen in each subject so we have to find the total marks in each subject but the condition is name is ramen so we will give df of name equal to ram so df inside bracket we will write df of name equal to ramen so ramen's marks are accessed and we can get the sum by using dot sum suppose subjects name in particular we want to add, we don't want to add unit test because it's not a subject so we want to add only subjects so in this statement in this statement we are giving subjects math science social studies hindi english and so on so first statement for accessing df of name equal to ramen that means name equal to ramen here there is an example we can look that example in the starting the same example is described in all cases so call a name is name so we want to access ramen's mark ramen's marks sum sum of ramen's marks so the name the column name is name so df dot name of ramen equal to sum of this math science social studies hindi and english we don't want to add ut because it's denote only unit test one unit test two unit test three and so on so we want to add that unit test name we want to add the subject's name so maths so we can obtain the marks of ramen by df of df of name equal to ramen so we will get the marks of ramen then we want to find the sum of the marks so df of ramen of maths comma science comma social studies comma hindi comma english dot sum will give the sum of so there are three subject three unit tests are there so ramen's marks in three units test are added and displayed so this is the method to find sum so we discussed max max means maximum value in colon and maximum value of row maximum value of colon is accessed by data frame name dot max minimum value is accessed by data frame name dot min so we will get column information by using this if you want to get raw information then df dot lock lock is the function to access rows then we discuss sum then calculating number of values so total number of values for each column suppose it is 10 20 
so and we have to count the rows also in the case of rows we have to give x is equal to 1 so if create printdf dot count will give total number of elements in the particular colon colon not row so name all 12 values because we are marking that as in all columns so all have the value 12 here so we can get the number of elements in the column by using df.count suppose we want to get the number of rows in a row how many elements are there so we have to use df.count x is equal to 1 so number of values in a row is accessed by df.count x is equal to 1 and number of columns is accessed by number of values in a column is accessed by df.count Hope you can follow me. Then next is calculating mean. Mean means average of the values in each column. Uh, in the previous topic, we find the sum of values in each column. Then we, if we get sum, then we can get the average by using sum divided by count. So there is another method to find the average easily. Like in our Excel sheet also, you just compare with our excel sheet in our excel sheet there are mechanisms while max min mean average sum then percentage all methods are there like that data frameworks here okay so to calculate the mean there is a function name mean so df dot mean what will we do df dot mean will add the value not add will give the average of each column that means suppose we want to find the subject average that means to calculate which is the tough subject which is the easy subject so subject average will be more for easy subject because suppose in the case of hindi you can score get better marks in hindi so all you scored out of 100 95 98 and so on then your subject average will be above 90 most students have difficulty in mathematics i think so suppose we, you want to find the subject average of maths then what happens suppose sometimes it will be 60 or 70 like that so we can get the average of each subject or average of each column by using the function mean so for calculating mean what will we do data frame name followed by dot operator and mean will display the mean or average of the values of each column of a data frame so this is the mean in maths uh, here also the tough subject is maths like i said so 18.60 is the average of maths but um, for hindi it is 21 so hindi is compared to maths in the easy for students so this is the method to find the average not the function average instead of we are using mean so if you want to find the average in a row in all unit tests suppose in all unit tests who has scored some marks so we want to get the marks of all unit tests and we want to find the average then we have to give axis equal to 1 because for Suhair's information means it is a row to access a row normally we will give axis equal to 1 so this will give the method to get the average then next is median what is median you all studied in mathematics that is the median is the middle value of data so middle value is displayed by using median so high not highest not lowest it is the middle value average students data is accessed by median the function is df dot median so if we want to here there is a question to print the median marks of mathematics then first we have to find the mathematics mark and then we have to find the median by using the function median df maths uta dot median is the method so this is medium is the middle value so these are the some methods that we are used in statistics in data frame let's stop for now let's continue our next class hope all of you study well thank you and have a nice day